everybody Ann here just sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee first thing in the morning well I gotta tell you last night another one of the chickens got out it wasn't quite dark yet but it was pouring down rain so I had to go chasing that chicken around I thought I had fixed the little tarp thingy but apparently not so getting that coop situation taken care of is of critical importance so I gotta get this done today I got to get it done oh I almost forgot to show you I got another package was it yesterday or the day before? Yesterday, um, I'm gonna show you what it is right now. I've already opened it. I hope the light's good enough, but this came and it, there's no note. I have no idea who sent this, but what a thoughtful thing. I mean, I was talking about having to get that, that door opened and trying to pry the wood too, so I don't know if it's somebody who saw me trying to get that wood separated to make that ramp, or if they saw that the door was totally stuck but they sent me this pry bar set and it's very very heavy duty very sturdy it has all different kinds of things that I can pry things open with it can do nails it can do it can do anything and you know what push comes to shove I can use it as a weapon haha <laughs> so whoever sent this to me thank you so much I'm gonna try and get that door open today and get that chicken coop fortified and fixed and maybe even make the ramp so let's get going the first thing I gotta do is figure out a way to wrangle up these girls and get them into this little coop while I work on things this is gonna be fun Whew! did it they're all in here just got to put their food and water in there because they're gonna be there for a while I had to put them in put them all four in that box I should have filmed it but I didn't have any way to really set the tripod up in the in the van, so let's get this this whole thing started. Now to see if I can get this door open. That sure would make things easier. So I think I'm gonna start with I think I'm gonna start with this one. Yep, gonna give that a try. Look at you guys. I did it. I did it. I did it with my first try. I did it. I got the door open. This latch is probably going to be stuck now. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. We'll just have to see. Um, this is exciting. Okay, so off comes the chicken wire and on goes this stuff. Now, the stuff that I ordered actually came, but this is no good. See how wide those are? I may be able to use them for something. These are about half the size in wideness. So, I have to figure out a way. To get it up here. I can't wait. Okay, I was getting frustrated, kind of like. <laughs> so I came inside to have a cold beverage, and Judy, Judy, she's laying down right now. Oh, I'm so mad at her. While I was working and I had my back turned towards her, she traipsed through the garden beds. She traipsed through them. She trampled a bunch of beans and whatnot. Oh, made me so mad. So I have to go fix that later. Um, so, I've just got a few more things to do. Um, I don't have all the stuff that I need. Um, basically, what I'm doing today is fortifying the van. I think that the, the little ramp thing is going to have to come tomorrow because I still have to have time to go to town. i got to get some groceries and some ice and whatnot. <sighs> I tell you what, man. This dog, ooh, I love her, but she, she needs to learn. Alrighty, so let me show you what I've done so far. I moved the perch roost thingy in front of this window because I thought you know what if they're wanting to get up in that window and look out I'm gonna go ahead and give them a means to do that I'm not gonna open that window for now just because I don't have anything over it that stuff back there I left the chicken wire now that is the stuff that I bought it is complete garbage the only reason why I even put it up there is because there was a couple little holes up at the top where there wasn't chicken wire so I just put that over it to kind of make it a little bit better <sighs> yeah, I'm going to see if I can get my money back on it. It is just, I mean, you could just pull it apart. It's its just garbage. But I'm going to leave that chicken wire there. The roost is here, and let's look at the outside. This is the outside. Now, this is still just temporary. I need to make a frame, actually. And I'm going to do that eventually. <laughs> but for right now, I just needed to provide for their safety. So this was just a little bit short if I wanted to bring it all the way down to here. So, I just put another piece up on top. 
secured with clips and magnets and zip ties. <laughs> it's going to work. You know, the strange thing is, when they got out, all of the clips were intact. The, the clips did not come undone. They just made it through basically a flawed design. Oh, and I just put some little siding down there, some pieces, so maybe they won't kick quite as much as their, of their litter out here. And I'm going to get rid of that. Well, actually, I'm going to put it in the compost heap and let that compost down. But here it is. And this, it'll be very easy for me to take this side off, pull it over, get in and get out. Um, I kind of toss the, the uh, litter around a little bit today. You're supposed to do that every few weeks. I know it hasn't been a few weeks yet, but I went ahead and did it. Um, what a pain. But I got, I got this done. So, where's my ramp? Oh, looky, pretty butterfly is on the ramp. Oh, look how gorgeous it is. Gorgeous. Anyhow, so this, I'm going to try and use those hoops to make hoops over this. Now, they're just a little bit wider, but they're flexible. So if I can find a way to pull them in and then cover it with that stuff, that is going to be perfect. This is complete garbage. Um, I don't know how I can, I, I need to go find my order thingy so that you can all know what not to get. Don't get this. First of all, when I opened it up, the first two feet had scores through it. So you could just easily rip them apart. And I don't know why that is. I'm going to see if I can get my money back, but it was terrible. So tomorrow's going to be this thing here. All right. And yeah, back here. It pretty much looks the same. I just put a little bit of extra up there because they can't see. There was a little hole in the chicken wire up there. They can't get out now, but this, this is garbage. Garbage, garbage. And uh, that door won't come open, but that's, that's all right for right now. I don't really want it to. Um, they get enough ventilation like this. But once I get this all cleaned up, it's going to look pretty cute back here. Look at the little girls. They just love being in their little chicken coop outside. I think that's why they one or more of them kept trying to get outside because they wanted to get out in the sunshine. So I provided a little bit of shade for them and put a roost in. I'm going to take that bar roost out. It's too slippery. They don't really like it anyhow. Look at They're all four up there. Maybe they'll just take a little rest. And I've got their food out here. This little cage thing is easy to move, so I can move it in different parts of the grass. May even end up putting wheels on it or something, if I can. Whew, I'm sweaty. But look how big they are, you guys. Look how freaking big they've gotten. They can't fit out through the cage anymore, so that's a good thing. So anyhow, yeah, this is done. Oh, I put the little butterfly things out here. I was going to put them around the porch, but Miss Judy over there, oh, God. I got so much crap on my porch. Uh, she would have pulled through them like she destroyed almost every single one of those other, excuse me, like she just destroyed every single one of those other uh, solar lights that I had. So I'm just putting them right here for right now. Uh, I will, once I get this area cleaned up, I'm probably going to end up just putting the little lights out here. And I have plenty of this stuff left. I may have used, I don't know, 10 feet. So... I think that I this will be okay for just to an enclosed fencing area. Just a little enclosed area. Now, of course, it's not going to be predator-proof, but I need to get some stakes and whatnot. So I think I feel a little bit better about this. I am not going to put them in the van until tonight. You know, I'm just going to let them stay out here, and um, hopefully they'll be okay. I think they'll be okay when I go into town. <sighs> They've got everything they need. Oh, they look happier outside. They sure do. All right. Well, let's see what else. Oh, look at, look at, somebody got up. She got up. It's not even attached. <sighs> These birds are so awesome. Whew. Well, at least I got that much done. It is hot outside today. Thank goodness for the sun, too. I've got my batteries all charged up. I've got my rain barrels full, and I, I think the chickens are going to be much much safer. So tomorrow I'm going to tackle the ramp, actually. I'm going to get it done. I will figure it out one way or the other. I'm sure I'm going to be able to do it because these chickens, they just love 
They love, love, love being outside. So that is my main goal for tomorrow. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.